Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Welcome to part two of my two-part series about black box royalties, what they are, why they exist, and how you can collect yours. In my last video, I discussed how we got here and how the Mechanical Licensing Collective was created to track, collect, and pay royalties more effectively. In this video, I will explain what you need to do to make sure all your royalties are tracked and how you can collect any possible black box royalties that you might be owed. As the artist, how do you make sure that you get paid all the royalties you're owed? Heck, how does the Mechanical Licensing Collective or the MLC even know who you are to begin with? Well, as I discussed in my last video, you need to make sure that the metadata of your songs is complete that every track of yours that is distributed digitally has an ISRC code and that all songwriter, artist, song title, and album information is complete and accurate. Next, you have to make sure that you're registered with the MLC so that they can accurately track your streams and that each of your songs is registered with them. How simple or time consuming this is has everything to do with your current publishing situation. Are you signed to a publishing agency? Are you your own publisher? Are you registered only with a PRO like ASCAP or BMI? Or are you represented by a third party publishing administration service like SongTrust or like CD Baby's CD Baby Pro? I'm going to talk about what to do in each of these situations. However, before I start, I want you to know that getting correctly registered is an administrative project that is going to take some time. Unfortunately, there is no way to avoid it. After all, for the MLC to know who owns the rights to every song and how to pay those rights holders, you have to give them that information for every song you wrote. Now, on the bright side, you've probably provided much of this information already to your distributor. So let's start with the simplest scenario. If you use a third party pub admin service that's offered by your distributor, like CD Baby Pro or TuneCore Publishing, then you are already covered. You may also already be engaged with an independent pub admin service like SongTrust, which happens to power CD Baby's Pro service. If so, you're also covered. You see, as part of the digital distribution process, these pub admin services already collect all the necessary songwriter information, and every distributor nowadays includes assigning ISRC codes in their distribution service. So as long as you've provided the correct information, you're covered. Your publishing administrator provides the data to the MLC and then collects all the owed royalties on your behalf. Now, if you're signed to an independent publishing firm, you should also be covered already. After all, your publisher makes no money unless they can collect your royalties. So they have all your information and they also work directly with the MLC to collect all publishing royalties owed. It gets trickier if you are self-published and you don't have a publishing administrator collecting on your behalf. If you wanted to, you could set yourself up as your own publishing administrator and register all your compositions directly with the MLC at themlc.com. And then you can collect your own mechanical royalties periodically. However, this is a lot of work, work that publishing admin agencies are built to do for you. Yes, they take a little slice of your royalties for their efforts, but they're so good at it they'll probably collect enough in extra royalties that you might not know how to collect to cover their fees. Trust me, it's worth it. My advice? Get yourself signed up with a pub admin firm like SongTrust and have them do the heavy lifting for you. Or sign up for your distributor's publishing administration service if they offer one. Of course, you'll still need to provide all the metadata for each of your tracks in order for them to be able to collect any royalties that you're owed. So it will take some time 
and some detailed admin work on your end regardless. Now I'm a member of ASCAP and BMI. If that's all I've got, am I covered? Well, in a word, no. Even if you are a member of ASCAP or BMI or CSAC or another PRO, they will not collect mechanical royalties from streaming and downloads for you. Remember, those PROs only collect royalties on public performance for you. When your songs are played at restaurants and bars and clubs and other venues. Plus, they collect publishing royalties from international radio play. And no, there are no royalties paid on US radio play, which in my opinion certainly isn't right, but this is not the place or the time to discuss that. In short, it's not part of the performance rights organization's charter to collect streaming and download mechanical royalty revenue for you. One of the biggest causes of black box revenues, frankly, is missing ISRC codes. If you signed up your tracks more than 10 years ago, you should check if your tracks have ISRC codes. You should be able to find this out in your digital distributors dashboard at CD Baby or TuneCore or DistroKid. And if it turns out that your tracks don't have ISRCs, you should get your distributor to assign you ISRC numbers for your old songs. It won't guarantee that they can track down any back royalties, but at least you can be assured that you'll receive them going forward. So okay, let me summarize this all. There's a big $424 million pile of publishing royalties being held by the MLC and some of it might be yours. The best and easiest way to make sure your streams and download sales are tracked is to make sure your metadata is clean, that your tracks have ISRC codes and all the other information about your tracks is accurate. If you're not sure this is the case for you, you should check with your distributor. If your songs have ISRCs, but you never bothered to sign up for the publishing administration services, actually signing up will allow the publishing administrator and the MLC to identify any potential publishing royalties of yours that are sitting in the black box. Plus, you can easily collect all your mechanical royalties owed for any future streams that are happening. If your songs don't have ISRCs, Getting your distributor to issue them an ISRC will make sure that at the very least you'll be able to collect streaming royalties going forward. Finally, the easiest way to collect all your owed royalties is to use a third-party publishing admin service like CD Baby Pro or SongTrust. Now, here's the reality. Your publishing royalties may not amount to an awful lot of dollars. Typically, mechanical royalties will add in the neighborhood of 15 to 18% to the streaming royalties paid for your sound recording. However, in this day and age, when we're already dealing with fractions of pennies for every stream in terms of sound recording royalties, why not pick up every additional fraction of a penny that's out there for you? So thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful and that there is some black box money out there for you to claim. I look forward to seeing you next time.